Are you settling for general maintenance crimp tools that break under pressure? Hi, I'm Holden with DMC. Today we're taking a closer look at the GMT line of DMC crimp tools. Stick around as I demonstrate the various power types and show you why GMT tools are the dependable choice for a variety of standard OEM applications. GMT tools feature fixed jaws designed for specific applications. They're commonly used to crimp stamped and formed contacts, but are also used on insulated and uninsulated terminals, splices, end caps, and coaxial connectors. These tools deliver exacting crimps up to 25,000 cycles before needing calibration. Manual, battery, and pneumatic power types of each GMT tool are available to provide great flexibility for your specific needs and work environments. The GMT-232 is one of our most popular GMT tools and is qualified to AS22520-37. It is a handheld crimp tool that crimps red, blue, and yellow environmental splices conforming to M81824. The tool features a locator affixed to the jaws that holds the splice in place while terminating. The rugged construction of this tool assures repeatability and long life cycle. The GMTE-232C battery-powered crimp tool is a handheld, self-contained crimp tool. This tool is equivalent to the GMT-232 and crimps the same M81824 environmental splices. Compared to the manual variety, the GMTE battery tools come with the added advantage of 1.5 tons of portable power and high-tech features like Bluetooth connectivity and data capture. These battery power tools include a carrying case, two lithium-ion batteries, and one charger. The PMT-232 represents the pneumatic counterpart to these tools. PMT tools rely on compressed air as the source of power. This makes it well suited for scenarios involving high production runs where shop air is readily accessible. PMT tools feature spring-loaded jaws and large activating lever that makes single-handed operation possible. The addition of a foot pedal and bench mount also make the tool suitable for benchtop applications. To use the GMT-232, first select the proper cavity size for the splice that you are crimping. Then squeeze the handles to open the jaws and insert the splice into the chosen cavity. Let the splice rest in the locator. Now insert the wire until it is visible in the window. Then close the handle and complete the cycle. Remove the splice and prepare the splice for the second termination. Then insert the wire on the opposite side and complete the crimp. If your termination requires heat shrink, be sure to install it prior to the final termination and apply heat by gently rotating the splice from side to side until the solder flows from the tips. To crimp with the GMTE 232C, first select the proper cavity size for the component you will be crimping. Now squeeze the spring-loaded jaws to insert the splice. Next insert the wire until the splice until it is visible in the window. Pull the trigger to complete the crimp. Be sure to hold the trigger down until the tool achieves pressure relief, which is accompanied by an audible pop. The tool pushrod retracts automatically. If it is necessary to retract the tool pushrod before a crimp cycle is completed, push and hold the emergency release button. To crimp with the PMT-232, first connect the tool to your air supply. Now select the proper cavity size for the component you will be crimping. Next, position the item to be crimped into the appropriate cavity and release the spring-loaded jaws to secure the splice. Place the wire into the splice and activate the tool by depressing the thumb lever. After the crimp is complete, squeeze the jaws open to remove your wire. All GMT series tools are gauged in the same fashion. Today I will demonstrate on a GMT-232. First ensure the crimp jaws are in the fully closed position. Then insert the green go gauge into the appropriate cavity. The gauge must pass freely through the crimp cavity. Now attempt to insert the red no go gauge into the appropriate cavity. The gauge may partially enter but must not pass completely through. Tools should be gauged periodically to ensure they are functioning properly. Please reference our catalog or website to find the appropriate gauge for your tool. If gauging indicates the tool is out of spec, customers can send in their tool for factory repair and calibration or contact an authorized repair center in their area. These services are also listed on our website. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our GMT line of tools. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on social media.